So I just like put it on as a meme. Yeah. And it just went from there. Yeah. Three, two, one, go! Oh, they're going right into it. <laughs> I like how he just held him. Yeah, that was a weird wait. Yeah. He need the Lloyd. So earlier I said that Shade's pretty good at recovering all, all stage against characters with pressure. Uh, you, you, don't, you don't get so, too much more pressure than, than Villager all stage. Yeah, so I, this I would feel be. Like, I feel like it's gonna be really hard, even with Shade like being a de decent at recovering. It'll kind of be a pressure. testament to his skills. Yeah, it's gonna it's gonna be really hard to like get back on stage even against Villager because Villager doesn't give a damn about half the stuff Falcon does. He's at. Oh no, he's to save the Villager. All right, that's clean. Thought he burned it. He oh. tried to <laughs> Holy moly. This man has no respect. Yeah. Almost died right there, though. I've always found that scary. The bowling ball against yeah. the Falcon. Well, dude, bowling ball in general is just scary as hell. They killed Tenny last game at like 40. Oh. Off stage. Turnips? Ooh. Nice. Only got, only got the one turnip, so didn't cover as much as he wanted it to. Okay, go forward there. Dead. I don't know. Stake to kill him though. Generally, when villagers that close to you on the ledge, it's okay to like get up roll. The worst thing they can do is shot you. Counter. Almost died right there. Spooky. You can't you can't commit to smash that well either because the villagers are never gonna air dodge into him. Like ever. Yeah, so rely mostly on his aerials to kill. That's a problem though, because Shade, a lot of the Shade's kills come from Smash. Yeah. So he also hasn't let him. He also hasn't let Falcon like run around the stage freely. Yeah. Well, because he's, he's never been on a stage. Yeah. Every time he gets hit, he goes off stage. 18 percent, dude. Friendly reminder that that does 18 percent. For no reason. The upbeat. Yeah. No problem. How much, like... Good kick. Nice and kick. DC on stage, pressure and shade on. Ooh, shade had the right idea, but didn't read the DI out. Yeah, DC on stage, BC has chance. Oh, that's a free down here. That's where the smash is gonna kill himself for that crew. Yeah, he's gonna die for that. He could die right here. Yeah, he's dead. Oh, oh never mind. How did he get there? I would like to just kill myself doing the nares over and over again. <laughs> Drag him down with me. Come on with me, baby. Villager's Forder is just very interruptive on movement. Oh, he tried to get him with double Forder. Yeah, almost got him. Basically with a good control right now. Just gotta be wary about that back air again because that's been the killing move over and over. That's kind of the only thing that could kill him right now. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, like Falcon has to rely on his aerials to kill because he doesn't really have. He can't really like plant himself on the ground because Villager doesn't let him doesn't like do that. Doesn't even let him hit. Yeah, and he's like desperate as hell for like a kill right now. Oh, nice this time too. Shade has him on last stock. BC just gotta slap him a few more times. Honestly. Off stage. Jab turnaround. Clean damage. I think great though. This has a hill a mountain in mind. He wants to get this. There. I love that movement from Shade just to get out of there. He didn't want to be he didn't want any part of that pressure. I don't think anyone wants that. Yeah, he air dodged he thought he was going to get up air afterward. But he, 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 he knew he wanted that shit though. Oh, he's dead. What I don't see from some players, like when they're at low percentages, is that they don't fast fall that quick. Like, you know, they, they just wait for them to grab the ledge. They don't just fast fall and risk, like, that chance where. They either fast fall either too quickly or like they I, fast fall. At the same time, I think Shade because Shade was surprised that he got hit with that uh, that back that forward air. 
I think he was defending the weak hit of it, not the strong hit. But he was like right in that that window where it's still really strong. He didn't anticipate it to like hit him that far away with the strong hit. That's what I, that's what I'm interpreting from him. what he, how he reacted right there. Oh my god, now he's alive. He's going around. Yeah, that's that's smart. That's kind of what he should have done versus Kenny, honestly. But panic does things to you. Panic does things to you. The Charizard is that scary. Yeah. Combo right there. He finally gets like a strong set. He almost got the forward smash too, but a good air dodge keeps him from dying. The water pushing back all stage. Interesting. Yeah. Nice air dodge. That spot dodge. That's clean. There, sent him off stage. He probably would have knocked him into the tree and then killed him with the tree, right? Maybe. Ooh, rapid boost. He finally gets it. Threw it out like six times last game and didn't get it. Yeah. He finally gets it on his first try. He kept getting interrupted by forward air. Alright, corner air. 60% is kinda low, but if he could just sit on the ledge and go to Shade to like, keep approaching and just land these like stray hits over and over again, he could well, he just back. He just added like oh, there he goes. Oh, 30%. Yeah, he has double jump though. Shade really good about conserving his double jump. He played like he, when he's off stage as well, he kind of plays. Oh, there's the clean. damage. Yeah, that was clean. When uh, he plays Falcon, he plays all, all stages in particular. He plays it like little Mac, just never burns down. But you can use that to his, your advantage though, because you know he's not gonna jump. Yeah. So like you can punish him for like that habit. It's just he, he, he's not he's not always gonna just not jump. He sometimes he'll just preemptively do it to trip you up. He's just really good at mixing it up. Is all. When I would practice versus Shade during that thing of the training. Uh, what I did is bring them his slingshot, by the way. <laughs> he too bring them with the slingshot hit. What were you saying? That when I was practicing with Shade during that time where it was the... Where, you know, like they put you with oh, the top yeah. hand. What I would do, I would just like... Um, I would do, like, preemptively that he would, like, drop down low and not burn his jump. So I would just like fastball and back air. Or just fastball back air, like just cover his spacing in general. Yeah. And then Chant he had to adjust to it. Yeah. Shade, Shade does have the ability, the capability. Oh, he got footstool. Shade has the capability to, to adjust. That's like, of course, a strong aspect of any good player. Then there's me. <laughs> then there's. He tries the same option 30 times. Maybe it's not working because I'm back. Nah, man, it's not. You gotta do it again. Because it might work the like, first time. If I do it again, maybe he'll forget about it. Alright. BC got a quick 40% on him, too. I uh, that he pulled back because he, he knew that was gonna happen. Alright, BC puts pressure on stage. What is the option? Down air. Oh. Bill just wasn't even down air because it's just ridiculous to get. Also, Jab one. apparently, uh, I guess Village's grab is just so bad that he can't grab Falcon out of a Raptor boost on shield. Because <laughs> he was able to jab him before it came out. But before it grabbed him, that sucks. Grab, yeah, back throw, he should be gone. Bit excessive on the pummel thing there, there but hey, get on both out of it then. We'll take it. Good jabs. Nice nair to fall, fight back though. Nice rolling from Shade too. Yeah. He, he, he was jabbing him once. He was doing the jab check with one two. See what he would do afterward. He just got nair for it. And that was down air. Good back air to follow up, but they trade. Falcon gets sent off stage. Oh, he's dead. Oh. He overcommitted up there. But nice good. That was a quick, that was a quick kill compared to last stop. Oh yeah. Now nah, he oh. had double jump. Yeah, I just thought BC would go for something risky. I feel like he did that on purpose too, the, the B. Like, it kind of looks like it was intentional. Nice wait. That was a really good wait. Holy moly. But I'm also really good pressure by BC because, like, if I was walking, I would have died right there. Yeah. <laughs> I would have gone for double jump and died like a goon. You have to be careful. There's a seed planted there. Tries down air and gets hit with a Lloyd. Tries the trump too. Doesn't get that either. Nice wait. BC with lots of pressure. He's covering so much space there too. Shade's also not doing himself any favors by doing like aerials and injecting off stage. Because he just puts himself back in that choking position where BC has control. Oh, that back air. It was very strong. Yeah. It was a good, it was a good back air, but also just the DI was questionable. Because of course, smash. Down tilt, not going to do anything. What's amazing is he hasn't hit one force smash this whole entire set. Yeah, because... Oh, oh Lord. as soon as I say that, more grab. 
As soon as I mentioned Ford Smash. Yeah. It's so, uh, what was it, um, I don't like how Shade was, like, so aggressive off stage at that. Like, it just, he would, like, aerial his shield and then drift away to avoid it. But it's like, you're just putting yourself in a bad position. That's what BC wants you to do. But, I mean, he, he came out of it alive, but we're going on man. <laughs> the end result is really good. Alright, we're going FD. This, I like this pick for both, both of them. I think this does it, does it have a wall jump. I think he does. Yeah. He does, yeah. So both characters are like never gonna die off, off stage unless they like bowling ball happens to Falcon or or Villager gets down here. Otherwise they shouldn't get killed off like the bottom. The wall jump gives Villager really easy pressure to wall jump slingshot. Yeah, it gives him like a I would say like a third jump. Pretty much. Well yeah, it's actually a third jump. <laughs> it's actually a third jump. Exactly what it is. Yeah, see now he has like a another avenue to like put pressure on Falcon from off stage. And you can see it working already, like doing its magic. Good job catching him on the yeah. regrab. Yeah, I like how Shade waited right there too. He didn't immediately just go off stage. Oh my lord, he fell so fast. This is a classic shade counter pick. But yeah, they, but he got counter picked against him though. Damn, Shade going for down airs for days. That's a very particular, like a very spicy setup, right? Not setup, but like a position right there. BC was right over his head, so like you're like, okay, the villager wants it down here, but what if he just doesn't? And <laughs> he just throw it up there, and then he gets it back here. Yeah, it's so it. scary though, because like you get down there, and now villager has control again. Villager would control spooky, man. Ooh, nice attempt at the pot. Just get him. The pot would pop him back up in the air and set them to more slingshots if he's close now. Especially if Shade would panic, he'll burn his jump. But knowing Shade, he probably wouldn't have the done Shade that. classic. See, the Shade Classic don't, don't work too well on Villager because Villager has a bad grab. It doesn't work as well. And Villager's not on the ground ever, so it like, doubly doesn't work. Oh. Right I thought it was a pot. Like, judging from the animation, I thought it was uh, just a dash attack. Yeah, Shade had a pretty pretty big deficit, honestly. Unless he lands like a really strong smash attack or a good spike. But see, even if he spikes uh, BC, if BC just SDIs into the stage, he can take the wall. So like, I love the walls. You could do like many stuff with it. Yeah. You know I'm saying it's like it's so it's gonna be really hard for Shade because like his only option is really gonna be like back airing and stuff. Because when BC is right next to the ledge, that that uh, down air no longer becomes like a, a, a viable option, or it's not a unviable. It just it's not really that safe. Oh. It's not something to aim for. Yeah. Well, I mean, go for it, but because I mean, damage is damage, it's just the probability of it killing Villager is way less now because of that. Nice back here. All right, thirty percent, not too much. That's a quick grab combo if you can get him. Oh, he went for it too. He just didn't dash first. There. Oh, he goes for me. Okay. Oh, it worked. Yeah. I mean, we got the we got the damages. <laughs> yeah, not just the Lloyd. We take those damages, man. We take all the damage. What's amazing is Lloyd actually stopped at that position where he air dodged. Yeah. He ran out of fuel. Back here. It's getting pretty spicy, dude. 81% even, dude. 81, 81 up. Oh, oh because the balloon slowed down to up tilt. That was gross. Alright, let's see if BC can take a revenge kill. Almost gets it, actually. <laughs> That's actually disgusting. Dude, revenge kills are the scariest things in Smash because you know they want it. Yeah. Like, you know they want it. Ooh, nice. Like, down. you know they want to go for it. Yeah, he heals down so he can grab him. That's 18 juicy damage. It's coaxing, dude. He's goading him. He's like, come on, do something. BC down. But, quick up tilt. Strong slingshots, maybe? I'll jump nice down here. Now he's stuck off stage. Ooh, does light snap? No team for him either. I thought that was a kill. Nice grab, jab. That could have been a side B read. Yeah, he has to be careful right here because back air. A strong back air near the ledge at that will kill the ledger. He has Ray. Oh, he died that way too. How Snap is he again. Doing this? this man's cheating, dude. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> Lloyd will take him out, yeah. Down there at the Lloyd and dies for it. He has to be careful though because he is Falcon and Villager can still. Even though it hasn't happened all set, it could, it could happen right now. That looked very spooky when Shade just jumped over Villager. Yeah. I'm saying like it hasn't been all set yet, but it can happen right now. But like Shay just gets kicked off stage at like zero. Oh, yeah, 
Yeah, Becker yeah. takes it. That was a floater KO too. Alright, shit.